Hey guys, Ray from LoveyRV.com. Well, it didn't take me long to want to get this Jackery Explorer 500 apart to see what's exactly in there. Now, I definitely don't advise you to do this. First of all, you vo void your warranty, <laughs> and it also is dangerous, and you could end up screwing up your nice expensive box. But I'm going to do it so we can see what exactly is inside there and how well it's built. So there was a whack of screws had to come out and little rubber thingies to get everything apart but nothing that that was that complicated. Now the two pieces kind of clamshell apart so just let me pull this apart and I'll give you a look inside. So it came apart quite nicely. You can see the molded plastic case of two pieces. See up here there's a little LED light board right there and then they have a lens on the other side and just a co couple covers on the ends. So those are just all basically plastic pieces. Everything else is jammed into here. You can see on the bottom that looks like the, the two lithium batteries tied together and on the end here looks like it's BS, BMS board. You can see the heavy red and black wires coming out of the batteries and then that board controls when the batteries are allowed to be on or not. And then we also are going to have our inverter board and a charge controller. And on the end here we have a fan. So first impressions is it's a much a nicer build um, than the lens unbox which was quite tightly packed and all kinds of wires kind of hanging everywhere. This one I kind of like the build of this one better so going to pull it apart a little further and have a little more detailed look inside. So I got this part out and very easy to unplug. Everything is uh, quite serviceable. I really like how it's put together from a repair guy point of view. Everything comes apart very, very nice. Looks like quite quality boards. This appears to be the inverter. You've got the DC going in. There's a little rectifier, bridge rectifier in there and a transformer some fats and on the outside here is where the AC comes out fan for cooling there's a couple control boards in there there's a temperature sensor goes to this board it's sort of safety precautions a couple big 40 amp fuses in here for uh, fail safe and that's mounted uh, on top of the battery packs there there's twin battery packs I think they were 21 point something volts at 20 something amp hours comes out to 518 watt hours give you a closer look at the BMS on the back there and we got the front board that's mounted so I'm just going to pop those screws out and we can get a closer look at that board, pull it apart. Okay, once again, really easy to get out and unplug. Everything's laid out in a really organized manner. Looks like over here we got our, our voltage from the batteries coming in. So that's probably around 21 or how many volts they have. And this little circuit on the corner probably cuts that voltage down to 12. You got your 12 volt output circuit down here and then you got your input circuit here so that would be doing the charging just look in that corner there yeah that's your input that's for uh, charging things up so all that corner takes care of that you can kind of see it's fairly lightweight that's why it doesn't really have a very high charge current capacity Everything looks like it's being done on that corner as far as I can see. But, really impressed. You know, if you took this to anybody, best to, of course, get it serviced by Jackery, but uh, most any competent uh, repair tech could, uh, could easily work on this and be happy with it. There's your USB connectors there and your main display. And a little brain chip to run the display. Cool. And I really like the screws. All the screws are really nice. Logically sorted out. The right sizes and everything. It's one thing I didn't like how the, the lens sun was kind of put together with these kind of black screws. 
kind of almost like wood screws in a lot of places into the plastic. This is a, a little bit higher quality. These plugs too, the receptacles for the plugs are really solid. You can see they're soldered right onto the board with heavy, heavy solder. On the back, nice seal holding them in place. The caps have a dab as well. You can see the DC plug coming out of the, the carport in there. It's really nice and soldered really well. It's really built to last. Not going to be like wiggling them loose or anything. So, give them a thumbs up for their connections. Well, there you go. Even got it all back together and still working. Amazing. Actually, in all seriousness, uh, I really would advise anybody against doing what I just did. Uh, the only reason I'm confident enough to do it is I spent 25 years as an electronic repair tech working on consumer electronics like TVs, stereos, VCRs, all that kind of stuff. So 25 years of taking things apart for repair and putting them back together. I learned a lot, so I'm able to do it without fear that I'm going to ruin something. Also, I got this box for free as a review sample, so it's not really a big loss if I did screw it up. So. Um, like I say, don't do it or you're going to avoid your warranty. You could cause a major problem. If you don't do it right, you could cause a fire. So, But I thought I'd do it just so you guys can get a look inside um, of what it's like. If I was buying one, I thought I think that would be helpful for me to see the what's inside. And to me, it looks like really good quality. I like the way it's put together. I think it's a thumbs up for a for quality inside it's not military spec it's not like a really super super high end it's not going to go to the moon or anything like that but for uh, for the price that you're paying it's a pretty good pretty good deal so there you go till next time ray from loveyrv.com thanks for watching folks cheers